Just like with numbers, we can perform the four basic arithmetic operations on functions. Namely, we can add functions, subtract functions, multiply them, and divide them. Provided, of course, we're not dividing by zero. Now these operations work almost exactly like you would expect them to. Here we have two functions, f is 2x plus 1, g is x squared minus 5, let's find f plus g. Well, then we'll simply take the f function, which is 2x plus 1, and we'll put a plus sign between them, we'll write the g function, x squared minus 5, the only thing to do here is to combine maybe some like terms. Well, there's only one x squared. Typically, we write this in decreasing order of exponents. I only see one other factor of x, 2x, and then we can combine a 1 minus 5, make that minus 4, and hey, we found f plus g. Very similar for f minus g. The only thing we really have to remember here is that we're subtracting the entire g function. We need to put that in parentheses when we subtract. So we have the 2x plus 1, that's our f function, and we're subtracting g. We're subtracting all of g in parentheses. So now when we subtract this, well, we're going to have a minus x squared. That would be the first thing to come out of that parentheses. And then we'd also have that 2x again. Now we have 1 minus minus 5. That's 1 plus 5, or 6. And this is our function f minus g. f times g. Let's just take the f function in parentheses, 2x plus 1, multiply it by the g function in parentheses, x squared minus 5. And I think for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to worry about distributing. Right now, I just want to show you what you can do with functions. f over g, f divided by g, works nearly the same. We'll just take the f function, 2x plus 1, completely over the g function, x squared minus 5, and that's the new function f over g. Now the other main thing we'll be doing with functions is composing them. That means putting functions inside of other functions, f of g of x as it's said. It looks like this when we're composing functions. This means put the g function inside the f function wherever you see an x. Here's the set notation if you like, I'm not going to read it, but I will say that for the domain of the composition, you need to keep in mind the domain restrictions for the g function and the domain restrictions for the new composed function. Also, you might see a different notation for this. While I'll often write f of g of x, you may see some people writing f little circle g of x, and this little circle is the symbol for function composition.